significant increase of false school threats since the Parkland shooting has local law enforcement laying down the hammer. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chaudhry explains the new initiative they're taking to deter students from making fake threats. What used to be considered a stupid school prank is now being treated as a serious crime. That's the message from the U.S. attorney as well as local law enforcement officials. Apparently, you have no idea what the consequences are of your actions. U.S. Attorney Matthew Schneider has some strong words for students who think calling in fake school threats is just a harmless prank. They think that we can't track them. Well, they're wrong. We're finding these people. We have tools in the government, especially the federal government, to find the perpetrators. Local officials say they've seen a significant increase of fake bomb or shooting threats to schools since the Parkland shooting. Take Macomb County, for example. Prosecutor Eric Smith says they've charged 51 people for making threats. Some of those teens are being charged as adults. All of them are facing a 20-year felony. Nobody out there is saying, well, let, they're just kids being kids. Those days are long since over with, and we're here all here to stress that. Each time a fake threat is made, tens of thousands of dollars, sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars, are spent to determine if it is real. A new initiative will soon roll out in schools explaining to students and parents the severe consequences of making false threats. They hope to relay that message in terms teens can understand. Our presentation to the school is more focused on things that the kids understand. We've got some funny things in there. We have some uh, comic strip type things that are still cool, but uh, still also get the point across. And when it comes to real threats, local law enforcement officials are urging students to come forward. They're saying you could use this app called OK to Say to report tips anonymously. I'm Simon Chowdhury for 7 Action News. Detroit's crime fighting